Hey folks, this is Real Honesty with John Rithlin. I'm John Rithlin, that... is the Dominator. We are here with a TLC 2017 prediction show before we go to SmackDown Live in Seattle in about what? Oh, fuck, about four hours. Um, actually about five hours. But anyway, we figured we'd record this now because our voices will be totally fucking shot. Yay. Um, because we'll all be booing gender. Probably. I will, I, I will... Uh, actually, I probably won't even give them a reaction, but, you know... True, but it, I may react just slightly to Becky Lynch, just slightly. As long as it's not on the couch. Not okay. What about on the seat at the key arena? I don't care. They're sticky enough already. This, yeah, and the floor. So, um, TLC predictions. They only have seven matches announced, including the kickoff show. Now, to be fair, Extreme Rules had a really low amount of matches on the card. Yes. It wasn't too bad. It wasn't great. But the main event delivered. So, and it's pretty obvious what the main event of this is going to be. Yeah. But we're going to go... It's, and I didn't write these down. So, Alicia Fox versus Sasha Banks for the pre-show kickoff match. As opposed to the non-pre-show kickoff match. Who do you have and why? Mm. Yeah. I'm going to go Alicia only because she attacks Sasha and it seems like maybe they're trying to do something with her. Yes, make her prime target for Oscar's first victim. Yeah, that too. I'd have to agree. Yeah, Alicia. She's losing her mind. She has no idea who Oscar is anymore. She's like, I'll beat you up. I have made a terrible mistake. Ignoring the cr crowd's chance of Oscar's gonna kill you. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, you know, Alicia might be hearing a whole bunch of different stuff. Yeah. <laughs> um. It, Sasha can absorb a loss, hell. I mean, she hasn't successfully defended the Raw Women's title anytime she's won it, so... And that is true. She's still over. She is still over with the crowd. So she can take a loss here. I mean, really, honestly, if you're going to put people in front of Asuka, Alicia would be a better choice to build up and then have her face ones like Sasha and Bailey. Yeah, that's true. I mean, could Sasha win? Sure. But I think Alicia winning. Alicia! Uh, Fox. Yeah, we're not going to bother with that. Um, now we go to another match. A, this Three women's matches on this card. Because the tag titles and the IC title and the Universal title aren't being defended. Universal Champion isn't even going to be on the show. Alexa Bliss versus Mickey James for the Raw Women's Championship. Who do you have, Alexa? Yeah, it's got to be Alexa. Nothing against Mickey. I think that she's doing just fine here. Would I be opposed to Mickey winning? I would not. I just don't see Mickey winning. Yeah. She, she pinned her on Raw. She pinned Alexa on Raw. So come on. It's not going to happen. If it does, okay, it'd be shocking. But would it be shocking for the best reasons? I, mean, I wouldn't say no, but Alexa's got to win. Yes. Because if you want to make a good target for Asuka to get the championship, say, by the Rumble. Because I think that would be fine. You build up for a few months. Yeah. Even by Mania, you could have Asuka win. You could do that. I mean, you could do something. But please have her stay undefeated. Don't build up this whole undefeated Empress thing and then have it end in six months. If it en if it ends at SummerSlam, if you have it go about ten months, that's fine. Yes. Because she doesn't need to be undefeated basically for about two years. But ten months at least. Because otherwise, you're pretty much destroying it. And you're, destroy and you're destroying her. And I'm going to leave my thoughts alone with that. Um, now we go to another uh, women's match. Asuka versus Asuka. It's Asuka. Asuka's going to beat Emma. Yeah. It hopefully will be a good eight-minute match, a good competitive match. Yeah. Asuka should run through her, though. Yes. In the end. Leave a statement. Yes, leave a statement all over Emma. Right there where she's on the ground prone and everything. I'm not talking about wrestling anymore. <coughs> I don't think I ever was. I'm certain <laughs> of it. <laughs> but Asuka's got to, Asuka's got to win. And it it's it, it would be per I think her and Emma, her and Emma create magic. I'm say again, watch the NXT Takeover London review or uh first watch the show then watch my review cuz I did it back in 2015. Their match or opening match is actually terrific. It was great stuff, great wrestling. And showed how, oh yeah, Emma can actually wrestle when we give her a chance. Shocking, isn't it? <clears throat> um, it Emma will give her a good performance, but Emma's got to leave just destroyed. Yes. Because they've been not really building Emma up, up all that much. 
It's got to leave a big statement. You could always build Emma up to take it from Asuka later. I want to see that. Outside the ring, too. What? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Much. Um. So then we go to... Oh, God. Let's go with the Cruiserweight Tag Match first. Brian Kendrick and Jack Gallagher, the Ripper Jack Gallagher, versus Cedric Alexander and Rich Swan. Who do you have and why? Cedric Alexander. Yeah, Cedric Alexander, Rich Swan winning. Yes. Yeah, I mean... Go ahead. I mean, I kind of want to hear why. Because I'm a big fan... I am a big fan of Cedric Alexander and Jack Gallagher. <clears throat> but of the two that's been on the biggest push recently, Cedric Alexander. They can use this loss to divide Kendrick and Jack Gallagher so he can do his own heel thing. Kendrick could take the loss. Gallagher could realize, I don't need you. Yes. Kendrick could blame Gallagher. Yes. Gallagher could take him out. Yes. That would be a good idea. I agree. I think Cedric and Rich want to win. I Are we going to disagree on any of these? Um, We might disagree. Probably not. I don't think so. This is a pretty <laughs> basic card, honestly. This is really not looking like the best card in the world. Though I think the women's matches can deliver. Um, <clears throat> Watch them all give the women's matches combined 20 minutes. That sounds about right. <laughs> um, I just... Could Kendrick and Gallagher win? Yes, Cedric did pin Gallagher on Raw. They could go with that, but if you go with 50-50 booking, if you have Kendrick it taking It also depends loss, on what happens tonight on 205 Live. This is true. I think, though, Kendrick taking the loss is perfect because Kendrick doesn't need to keep wrestling much longer. He can split being a wrestler and a trainer because he can be a good trainer. Yeah. And I'm not going to blame him for Eva Marie not being any good because no one could have taught her <laughs> how to land her on her knees like the pro she is. <clears throat> but the faces winning would be fine because we got Alexa winning, obviously, and we got Alicia winning. I believe Alicia's a heel. I'm not really sure. I don't think she knows. She's just a crazy person. Yes, the much craziness. Um, yeah, the faces got to win here. Alexander and Swan, Gallagher and Kendrick. This is fine, but Gallagher can be his own heel on his own. Yes, like you were saying, and I like your idea. Now we go to Kalisto versus Enzo for the Cruiserweight title. Who do you have and why? This one's tough. Kalisto has to retain here. I know Enzo's got his stable going, but Enzo wins by DQ. Mm -hmm. Hence, Kalisto keeps the championship because either his stable interferes or Enzo pulls shenanigans. And the thing is, is, as we were saying, and by which he plugged for the Raw review we did last night, <coughs> Enzo transitioning to a manager would be perfect. Yes. Because he can get under people's skin. He's not any good in the ring. The Him winning the Cruiserweight title was pretty much a, fail, a failure. People can say, oh, it got eyes to 205 Live and the Raw and stuff like that. Okay, but people were kind of hating it, and not hating it necessarily for the right reasons. Some were. But he got under my skin, and bravo for WWE for doing that. You got everybody skip more than Jinder Mahal winning the WWE Championship. Yep. Jinder's still worse. Yes. The Cruiserweight title was even kind of flat. <laughs> Torso and, Mahal. <laughs> Torso Mahal. Check out, his, uh, check out his Twitter page and you will see what that means. And you will never unsee it. Nope. Even when Jinder's on TV. I agree. I think Kaliso has to retain because hot potatoing the title, which, yes, oh, they've never done with any title at all. Oh, no, I've never done that no. before. Mm-mm. But if they do it here, Kalisto, while I'm not the biggest fan of him, you hot potatoed the U.S. title from him <clears throat> to Del Rio when Del Rio was part of the company you know, last year, and then back to Kalisto, and the steam was already gone from his title reign. If you do that here, the steam is gone, and you can have like my idea of Ali beating Mustafa Ali beating Enzo <clears throat> and retiring him from the ring, but he gets to be a manager. And gets to be in the role that he's in. I mean, and even if Enzo wants to leave at some point and do a rap career, <laughs> good luck with that. It gets him out of the ring. It gets him in a role where he can do good things. Yes. That being said, watch him give it back to Enzo for no reason. And then everything's gone. Yeah. <laughs> and you might as well throw it in the trash. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> Finn Balor's demon in Sister Bra <laughs> in, in Bra Bray Wyatt's <laughs> Abigail. <laughs> It's the great uh, pumpkin demon, Charlie Sister Brown. Abigail. You got Sister Abigail, Wayne? Yes. 
Why? Because. Just because? Because this is so bullshit stupid <laughs> that the dumbest outcome must be the correct one. I have the fridge from the House of Horrors winning. Huh. Follow the buzzards. What okay. does that mean? At this point, it, it meant something when he first appeared, and now it doesn't mean anything. Now JoJo swallows the buzzards. So, oh. movie... What? It's still funny. I mean, it's horrible, but it's still funny. Um, <clears throat> I have... I'll say... Unless this is going to lead to Balor, Gallows, and Anderson teaming up, Gallows I think... Gallows and Anderson? <laughs> Bill Anderson. Um, I yes. have... I have, um... I have Balor winning... Only because they have no idea what they're doing with Bray. They're trying to make him quit with this bullshit. If they aren't, then they have a funny way of showing their appreciation for him. It's just, it, it, it it's, it's going to be the pumpkin demon winning. I mean, that's what it's going to be. It's just, it's just Valor, Balor, the pumpkin of Valor. Thinking of a val uh, of a pumpkin, like th showing Valor and like going into battle or whatever. Yeah. So, <clears throat> Balor wins. You got Bray winning. That's that'll be the one that'll divide us. Whichever one that you know. It's but like, it's a line in the sand that which divides us. Line in the clan. Um, the Shield. This is gonna be have to be the main event. The five on three handicap TLC match. Can we throw more stipulations? <laughs> Shit. The Shield. Roman Dean. Roman Dean and Seth. Versus Braun, Miz, Kane, Cesaro, and Sheamus. Yes, Kane back in the ring after almost a year. Mm. The, the Shield wins. Yes, the Shield wins, and then Kane attacks Roman. Which I'm fine with. You could have the Shield. <coughs> you could have the, you could have somebody else team up with the Shield and have this be a five on five match for <laughs> um for say I don't know um Survivor Series. Have it be in five on five. You're gonna need matches on that card because you can't have it be just a few matches on the Survivor Series card, and then a one minute and twenty six second main event. Which I am still shocked that they did that. Your reaction to that was tremendous. Um, did I miss it? <laughs> pure laughter. Um, <clears throat> the Shield wins, and I say Cesaro or Kane takes the pin. I say Ces Sheamus could take the pin. Yeah. I think she Sheamus or Cesaro could take the pin. Miz does not need to take the pin. You damn well better not have Braun take the pin. No. Not after you had Braun lose to Brock stupidly. Really shouldn't have done that. You met with a terrible fate, haven't you? <clears throat> so, I don't know. You got that? You got the shield, Wayne? Yeah. Who do you think will get pinned? Just won't factor on the predictions. Just um, It's going to end up being the Miz. You think the Miz will take the pin? Because they're not very good at planning. Yeah. Yeah, they're not. <coughs> well, this was a really short prediction show. But anyway, folks, do you agree? Do you disagree with what we said? Like, share, comment, subscribe. Twitter links and a thumbnail from this guy are in the description. You'll like it, by the way. It's really good shit. Or you might not. And if well, you don't, I don't particularly care. And if you don't, then learn to do better Photoshop. Anyway, this has been Real Honesty with John Ripplin. Yes, get good. This has been Real Honesty with John Ritland. I'm John Ritland. That is the Dominator. Back with a SmackDown Live review in about 10 hours.